Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Toxix, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In today's video, we have a lot of story stuff going on, so I hope you enjoy it. For the time being, we are going to go and read Ghost Encounters, because we actually read Speed Reader, which has now increased our reading proficiency. Thanks to that book on speed reading, I should be able to get through this quickly. So this is going to give us both points immediately. And the next moment, we totally saw a ghost. <sighs> wow, why are you reading that? Whatever you do, just don't read it out loud, okay? Oh. You still got time to read. Let's go a little further. There were words written on the blackboard at the abandoned school. For real? So, you finished reading Ghost Encounters. Uh, these stories are way too spooky for me. Don't talk to me about any of them, okay? Although, you do seem a lot more dependable now that you've read them. <sighs> well, I guess I should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know? <laughs> you know? Yo. What up? What's bonkin, bro? Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but ugh, we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? I imagine so. That would make sense. That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exam. Ooh! We're already starting fiery. Okay. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. True. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the Red Light District, and don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. Seems like we won't be having fun in our summer break for a while. Yeah. Mm. Ryuji might be right. Why don't we? We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We got nothing to lose. Let's have the young gang gather info around the neighborhood. We talk to every single person we can here. If they have a text bubble above their head, you should probably talk to them. Eh? Her Kappa? Her Kappa? Yes. I know that name. I've been in some way before. Ah, uh, yes. That was the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. Well, let's ask some other people, too. <laughs> I should want to talk to the store owner. Huh? Can I help you? Do you know Futaba Sakura? Futaba, hmm? We do get the occasional young and coming and poking around, but I'm afraid I don't vote my name. Mm. No luck here either, huh? Let's go back to some other people. I can feel it. Weren't you that one that was sitting on Kasumi? I don't like you. That's the Bryce Peppenbrook guy. Futaba? No, I don't know who that could be. Let's go back to some other people too. Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Hey, I'm a growing boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's a boss who eats a lot then. Let's ask some other people too. I'm not gonna read that line anymore, I give up. Futaba? Who's that? I don't think I know anybody by that name. Yeah, but why didn't the shoe tapper get angry if they find out you're snooping on them there? Mailman? What's up, Mr. Mailman? Futaba? 
Mm, no, don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura-san's house and to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. Uh, Sakura-san is like, basically my guardian in this situation. I'm kind of living with him for the time being because I'm on probation. May I just ask what it is you're delivering? No? Okay. <laughs> the way he looked at me was just funny. I talked to you. Let's go to LeBlanc. Probably someone this way. Sakura is single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Okay. Grocery store would make the most sense, in my opinion. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? Yes, that is Jiraiya. When I heard that the other day, and I, when I was like playing through this again, I'm like, hold up. And I just I went and I watched an episode of Naruto. I watched the one where, spoilers, Jiraiya dies. And I watched that, and I was like, fuck! I was like, cry because Jiraiya died. And I'm just like, I watched that again for some reason. But I'm like, that's Jiraiya! Pog! I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come again. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Although I don't really want to do that. Oh, it's this lady again. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay. What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. That's Would you tough. like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9 percent. .9%. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. I'm literally not touching my controller. Why the hell it's giving text? I don't know. <laughs> you're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. That smug grin. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Rude. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. You're not welcome. You leave Papa Sojiro alone. And stay out! Damn straight. That woman is real good at pissing people off. True? What's with that look? You got something to say? Custody? This doesn't involve you. Is Futaba your daughter? That's enough! Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. Mm. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? Cognitive science. I wonder what the chief's hiding. He's probably a genetic researcher, bio-developing really different subject, upgrades though, to make Futaba an android. He mentioned throwing you out. True. Yeah, we're in a bit of a pickle, aren't we? Yo, how'd it go? You find out anything about Futaba Sakura? I've been wondering that too. I'll tell you tomorrow. Whoa! So, you did learn something. Fine work. I knew we could count on you. Akira can. Thank you. Alright, then let's all meet up tomorrow. Yeah. Hmm. 
fuck nuggets. That's weird, bro. I don't know what to feel. I'm gonna call Kawakami to make some coffee for us. Mm. It's 5,000 yen, bro. That's like nothing. Yep. Hi. Hello, master. Thanks for calling. This is Becky. Oh, wait, it's you. Did you want to use the delivery service? Okay, I'll be there soon. Thank you for your continued patronage. That will be 5,000 yen. Is 5,000 yen a lot? Like, what is that? Five bucks? I actually don't know. Is it $50? I literally don't know the difference. But she's going to make coffee for us. We can talk with her while she's doing it, though. Uh, and that's going to give us the opportunity to do something else. So if we wanted to read or study, we could do that. I'm not going to study because I don't need to. I don't have any books to read. So what I'm going to do instead is actually clean up LeBlanc. Hey. It's time to clean up. All right. Time to do some work for the chief. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Well, then. Do you want to start cleaning now? Your kindness may improve a little bit. Let's do it. And Kawakami stays in the background for it. It's really nice. Looks pretty clean, even if there are some areas that we couldn't reach. You won't get paid for doing this, but you've got to push through. You're staying here for free, after all. That should do it for now. All right, all clean. I bet the chief is going to be happy with this. Thinking about the customers and cleaning the store probably helps to increase your kindness, no? Hey! That took longer than expected. We should go to bed once we clean up the rest. We couldn't leave, so I just decided to do that. Hi! Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye, Kawamami. <sighs> A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. She was kind of hot, too. Looked a little bit like you, Makoto, but more feminine. Had more of that it's charm. It's nothing. So, to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? No, there's absolutely no way in hell. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Yellow pee 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 <laughs> I forgot about doing that. I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. Um... Tell me your keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Meet? With me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things... difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay. It's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now, if you'll excuse me. 
Wait a second. I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Mejed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? Bruh. You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! Why do I make more money from the palace? Oh, I guess, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I guess one That's object awesome. compared to the whole palace. really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. True. Gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Hmm. Where would be? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel too. I'm allergic to all seafood. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. I'm down to just down you don't whole need to do ginger that this roots. Time. Actually, definitely don't do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Um, I'm allergic to fish, but I, I sushi's fine, I guess. Then it's decided. Can't even eat seaweed. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. All right, then let's do it. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I wonder if what all that magic business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Huh? When you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Yeah, but something's not right. I was thinking that too. I can't really put it into words though. Hmm, Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on the best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who, though. You better not be talking about me! That did not sound how I wanted it to sound. Hmm. Let's go make some lockpicks. Okay. I genuinely yeah. do not care for anything else in the entire list. Oh my god, I'm tired! Yes. You're definitely getting better. I can tell just by watching you. Yeah. Thank you, Morgana. I appreciate that. That ringing is really messing with my ears. Well then. Is it done? Oh my god, I hated that. Because it was like coming directly from my headphones into obviously that's how headphones work, but just that bing bing. You seem quite busy, Sai San. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything. The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kanashiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, 
But don't you think the case you are pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These, their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. Time for sushi. Well, no, actually, Morgana, it is not time for sushi. It's time to sing our song. And it's time for so long. But we'll sing just one last song. It's time for me and you and my pal Morgana, too. We can do everything that we want to do. Next time in Persona 5 Royal, we're going to go have our sushi. And maybe we'll find out more about Medjet or Fujaba, Sakura, or Alibaba. I don't fucking know. We really are kind of clueless right now. So, I guess until then, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.